Hello, hi everyone. Welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Nikta Gedda from Informatica GCS. In this session, let's check how to enable JDBC trace for snowflake mapping in Power Center. So, today's agenda is to check how does it help in enabling JDBC trace and what is the required configuration. And then we'll move on with the demo. In general, we use Snowflake Native Connector to import objects in a Power Center client machine. And then when you create a mapping and run the session, you might come across some session failures. And from the session log, we might not exactly find out the root cause, what is causing the error. In such scenarios, it would be advisable to enable Snowflake JDBC trace, which would give us some additional information, which would help us in troubleshooting the issue further. Now let's check the required configuration to enable JDBC trace. Open your workflow manager and select the associated Snowflake connection. Add tracing equals to all as an additional JDBC parameter. Once you add this parameter and rerun the session, a Snowflake JDBC trace will be generated in your server machine. By default, it will be present in your temp directory. If you wish to change your temp location, you can refer to the KB article 532238. Uh, now let's move on with the demo. So basically, let's try a mapping, a simple mapping where we are trying to load the data from Snowflake to a flat file. Okay, so this is the workflow for that uh, simple Snowflake mapping and make sure at the uh, source application connection, tracing equals to all parameters added in the additional JDBC parameter. Once it is added, you can trigger the session. And the session is in running state. And the session got completed. By default, the Snowflake JDBC trace will be generated in temp directory of your uh, server machine. And if you have configured a uh, custom property uh, for staging location, then the JDBC trace would be uh, generated in this particular location. So this is my temp directory and here is the Snowflake JDBC trace generated. You can refer this for additional information. So that's it for the demo. We would love to hear from you. You can write us at supportvideos at informatica.com. Thank you for watching.